today's class i am going to teach about the how to design two bit comparator using post transistor logic so before design i first recall the term what is comparator so comparator in the sense just comparing the two parameters so here parameters it's like a a and b values just i comparing a value and b value we can get the three possible outputs so first possible output is a value is equal to b value and a value is greater than b or a value is less than b so we can get the three possible outputs so each possible output is designed with the help of post transistor logic so first i draw the block diagram of a two bit comparator so two bit comparator so input is a and b so a refer a0 on a1 b refer b0 on b1 so this comparator produce three output a equal to b a less than b a greater than b so its output of comparator input is a0 a1 on b0 b1 two bit values now i write the truth table So a one, a not, b one, b not. So this four variable consider as a input variable. So output is a equal to b, a less than b, a greater than b. So all the values zero, zero zero one. Zero zero one zero double zero double one zero one double zero zero one zero one zero double one zero zero triple one then eight nine ten eleven twelve. Then thirty nine right here. So one one zero one thirteen fourteen and fifteen. So just to compare it, these two values, A value compare with B value. So first case, so A value, B value, both are equal. Then second one, A value is less than B. Then third input a value less than b. Then fourth input a value less than b. Then next one a value is greater than b. Here a value is zero one, b value is zero zero. So a value is greater than b. Then a value is zero one, b value is zero one. So both are equal. Then a value zero one, b value one zero. So a is less than b. Then a value zero one, b value one one. So a less than b. Then next a value one zero, b value zero zero. So a is greater than b. Then one zero zero one, a value greater than b. One zero one one equal so a value is equal to b. One zero double one so a value less than b. One one zero zero so a value greater than b. Then come to here so a equal b a less than b a greater than b. So here a value one one, b value zero one. So a is greater than b. Here a greater than b. And this is a equal to b. So this is the truth table. So after simplifying this truth table, we can find the equation for a equal to b and a less than b, a greater than b. So today's session I only focus a equal to b. So how to draw the Post transistor logic for a equal to b. So in this condition, 
So using KMF, we can find the expression for A equal to B. So A equal to B using KMAP find the expression. So it's a four variable. We can use 16 cells. So this KMAP already we studied in digital electronics. A naught, sorry A1, A naught, B1, B naught. So the first cell name 0, 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, 7, 6, 8, 9, 11, 10, 12, 13, 15, 14. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So here equal equal to A equal to B, 1. So the hexadecimal value is 0. So here decimal value is 0. Then here 5. Then 10. Then 15. So in this 4 input value A equal to B. This value is set to be 1. So 0, 5, 15, 10. So in this KMF we don't have the pair. So all the four input values is considered as an individual term. So it's individual. So these all four input considered as an individual. So now I am going to write the expression for this k map. So a1 bar, a0 bar, b1 bar, b0 bar. Plus here a1 bar, a0 b1 bar b0 plus then come to here a1 a0 b1 b0 then final expression so final product term a1 a0 bar here b1 b0 bar so now we simplify this expression so after simplification you will get the expression a naught, x naught, b naught, a one, x naught, b one. So this is the equation for a equal to b. So when in this two bit comparator a value is equal to b value, so the corresponding Boolean expression is a naught, x naught, b naught, a one, x naught, b one. So now I am going to draw the post transistor logic for this expression. So let's start to design the 2 bit comparator using post transistor. The Boolean expression for A equal to B is A0 x0 B0 A1 x0 B1. The abbreviation of this expression is A0 B0 plus a naught bar B naught bar A1 B1 plus A1 bar B1 bar So it's a abbreviated expression for this expression So in this design I am using 4 CMOS inverter for getting the complement value So A naught and A naught bar B naught B naught bar A1 A1 bar B1 and B1 bar So it's a first inverter. This input value is A1. Output of the CMOS inverter is A1 bar. The second inverter A0, A0 bar. Third inverter input is B1, B1 bar. Fourth inverter input B0, B0 bar. 
So this four inverters is used to getting the complement value of A1, A0, B1 and B0. So then, now I am going to draw the post transistor logic for 2 bit comparator. So here I am taking 4 post transistor, so N, N MOS transistor. So already I told in post transistor one input considered as the controlling input and another one input is the driving input. So here this A1 bar is given to input of first transistor then this A1 A1 is given to input of second transistor then this driving input is B1 bar so B1 bar is the driving input B1 bar and B1 so another input is B1. So A1 bar and A1 is the control signal for these two transistor and driving input is B1 bar and B1. So these two outputs are odd. So combine these two output. So when A1 bar is selected, so in this case this transistor is turned on, the output of the transistor is a1 bar dot b1 bar. So here the output of this transistor is a1 dot b1. So just combining these two output we will get like this. So a1 dot b1 plus a1 bar dot b1 bar. So it's a x naught operation. So A1 x naught B1. So then this output is connected to input of another CMOS inverter. So it's plus V on graph. So this output is a1 x0 b1 whole bar. So just taking complement of this output. Then come to here. So in this two post transistor, the controlling input is A0 bar. So first input is connected to here. So A0 bar. So it's T1, T2, T3, T4. So that name we call as T1, T2, T3, T4. So this T3 controlling input is A0 bar and T4 controlling input is A0. Then come to driving input. So T3 driving input is connected to B0 bar. Then this B0 is connected to input of T4. Then output of this two transistor T3 and T4 is combining and take it out here. So T3 output is A0 bar dot B0 bar. So here A0 dot B0. Just to combine these two output we will get the result like this A0 B0 plus a0 bar dot b0 bar. So its simplified expression is a0 x0 b0. So here I am using one more pos transistor. So this signal is given to input of this pos transistor and this one is connected to ground. Then one more post transistor, here I am using. So one control signal get from here, complement term. So another post transistor input, controlling input get from here. So A1, X0, B1. 
So this first transistor in controlling input is A1, X0, B1. Then driving input is so this output is connected to input of this transistor. So this one is T5, this one namely called as T6. So T5 controlling input is complement of this portion input and another input is connected to ground. So T6 transistor controlling input is A1, X0, B1 and driving input is this value. So A0, X0, B0. Just combining these two transistor output, we will get final one this. So A0, X0, B0. So here output is A0, X0, B0. So product of A1, X0, B1. So this term is 0. So plus 0. So only you get the final result. So it's a final result of the 2 bit comparator A value equal to B value. So it's a simple design. So this 4 CMOS inverter is used to getting the complement term. Then this 6 transistors are used to getting the final output. I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thank you.